Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 clash, game 2, the official live cast. We've got Serafino versus Olivier Dulac in a Wood Elf mirror. Serafino in blue, Olivier in red. Olivier won the toss, chose to kick because it's raining, I guess. And uh, after watching the previous game, both sides struggled greatly on offence, you know, strip ball and stuff, it's pretty scary. Elves doing elf things. I can tell you that Serafino is Italian, qualifying through the Wild Cup, Wild Thing Studio. Um, Olivier Delac is French, qualified through Von de Gob. And uh, also, of course, Olivier is the number one ranked player on tabletop. Serafino was on the Italian Euroball team, so this is very much a tabletop clash. We've got some interesting decisions, not the boring standard roster for either coach. Serafino's got a, a sprint catcher. I would prefer a sidestep one, but he's got a sprint catcher, leader, a couple of wrestle. He's got a grab tree for the one turn and a frenzy dancer also, you know, can help with the one turn and a strip dancer. Uh, Olivier's got a couple of sidestep. I actually really like the sidesteppers. Helps it with the one turn, helps sideline control. Only one wrestle, strip, frenzy again. And then he's gone the jump up tree. I kind of hate the jump up tree. I would have much preferred two more dodge linemen. But because he's got four catchers rather than a leader, thrower, he's got a lot of dodge anyway. So he's got just as much dodge as most Wood Elves run. Uh, but yeah, he's only got two rerolls in an apple. Whereas Serafino's got three rerolls. So let's, uh, let's do things. Yes, PC. It's it's a nightmare, isn't it? Elves facing a three plus. On the other hand, at least it makes like recovery after they get sacked harder for the other elves. So it's an interesting choice, actually. Because you know, if if he's got a you know, if Olivia has you know gets the ball sack and has to pick it up in a couple of tackle zones, it suddenly becomes really difficult, doesn't it? Route instantly makes the 3D. Stuns him. And here we go, the big 3 plus. Gotta reroll the pickup here. Doesn't even have to. No failing for him. Not gonna consider the ball sack here probably Olivia and look he gets to, he gets to wall off now doesn't he because he's got the sidestep so it is, it is actually pretty nice you know he gets to put sidesteps on the end of his lines all the time why would he re-roll turn one fail pick up because he could just lose <laughs> basically we just saw it for Frankie versus Strider um, if that ball goes on the ground against elves, anything can happen. And it's already quite close to the elf lines. Very dangerous to have the ball on the ground. It, it would 100% reroll that, I'm sure. <laughs> He's not accidentally got in the cage. <laughs> what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> that was great. <laughs> he just randomly went into the cage that catcher was like wait a second is he going to hit the tree oh man he didn't stick him on the side wait what why didn't he why didn't he go here? Was that a misclick by Olivier? That's so weird. It's such a weird play to blitz. I don't understand. Oh, because then he could have gone down the side. He wanted to stop him because he was scared of him. Well, he's not, he's used all his movement. Three, four, five, six. Seven. And if he goes there, yeah, then he could like, what, rush, rush? I mean, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Like if he does that, he gets served. So we'd have to do that and then get behind him. So I guess Olivia was scared enough of him doing like a three, two without dodge. That he didn't, he didn't go to there. Weird. Man, I love going there. Interesting, isn't it? Interesting. But yeah, it's really cool having the sidestep there. It really, it really is really cool having the sidestep for his defences. Like how it is for Necro, right? Necro, a bit of a monster team with a uh, stand firms and sidesteps in that style. Very powerful in the like, limited environment. Skill starved. Makes a dodge. Oh. He should have had his frenzy here, shouldn't he? Um, Serafino, then he could have served him. <laughs> Be a bit of a gaping hole. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just cost him two skills. The problem is, it's cost Olivia two skills, and it, it hasn't cost him yet. You know, like he's done fine in all the games so far. But to me, it just seems like two dodge is so much better. Like, it's the opportunity cost, isn't it? Like, the jump up might do things in some games, but, like, it just seems crazy to me to, like, lose two dodge players or a dodge and a wrestle or whatever, you know? him down. Not permanently. <laughs> Roots. Piles him again. Wait, did he not stand firm and did he not follow? Oh, he couldn't follow. That's why he didn't stand firm. He got free. He got a free unroot. He got a free unroot. That's what happened. <laughs> Ball carrier blitz here. No, he's a he's a wrestler, so way too dangerous. The wrestler will have to wrestle. It's kind of wild that both players do, but you, but you know, like Olivia took a double, right? Like I really don't like spending a double on pretty much any team. Like it just, it's hard, right? Because it's costing you an extra skill. Like it's, it's such a hard thing to do in such a still skill-starved environment. I don't really f like stacking too much either. In general, yeah, trees should definitely start with Iron Hard Skin. A million percent. A million percent. He got he got rooted. He, sorry, he got rooted the turn before the, before he was knocked over. So he'd already been rooted by getting knocked over. And then, and then he got pushed away. <laughs> you can't be moved like in any way if you're rooted. 
Ooh, dodge there. Critical one in 36. Gets the power only on two dice. I mean, he, I guess he had two in two. But... Yeah, mighty blow war dancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, I'm not saying that I wouldn't do it. Just that, you know, it's just such a huge cost, right? It's such a huge cost in a skill-starved environment. Which Nap absolutely is. No, there was no Elven Unions ever in Elven. Oh no, what? There was one. There was one in the group stage, yeah. One mad lad took them in the group stage. Wow, rerolls that. Surprising. I guess it's made the it's made the hexagon cage, hasn't it? People like the hexagon cage. It does a job, I guess. Seems like Olivia might get the stop now, actually. Like, yeah, okay, he got through into a nice cage, but like, Olivia could, should be able to shut this down pretty well. Ah, he used his reroll. The classic leader. The classic leader, just use your leader reroll on a, on a failed dodge. Yeah. Gets the power on the second hit. He's going to do a bunch of twos again, I guess. Oh my god, millions of twos. Jesus. Serafino. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All of the critical two pluses this game. Like, you know, you've got to do it, right? Like, it's not, you know, I'm not saying he's rubbish for doing it. It's just that he's, you know. When he inevitably rolls a 1 in 36, he can't really complain too much about it. That's what I'm saying, because he's made about 6 or 7 that turn. But if any of them failed, the ball was getting 2D by strip and recovered and getting scored on and losing the game, probably. The tree just taunting the other tree now, walking around him. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, the the cheeky the cheeky move into range on turn seven with a catcher, love it. I mean this is obviously a really hard leap in. Five plus isn't it? It's not that hard, is it? He might still go for it. Turn seven. He is going for it. doesn't get it. Like, he, like, he might as well have gone for it. Like, yeah, okay, you can fail and your guy gets KO'd, but I guess you've got to do it. I'd like to have seen some use of the Frenzy from Serafino, right? He could have... Had like, you know, like, obviously he was switching sides here and stuff, but you know, like if he just generally had like a frenzy player here, he could have done like, you know, a blitz in and surf. Sometimes. But it was never really on. Oh yeah, of course he re No, wait. He didn't re-roll it. I was like, of course he re-rolled it. He didn't. I can't find anything. Else. Whatever it was, it's done. Right, one turn chance for Olivia. What's he doing? Yeah, he's got. He's got. I guess he didn't reroll it because he's got two reels for the one turn, right? And he's going to K fog this with frenzy into the side stepper. This is, I mean, this takes a lot of pushes. This seems wrong compared to blitzing into this guy. Blitzing into this guy is the way to do it, in my opinion. 
So I don't like this at all from Olivia. I think the play is blitzing this guy. Definitely blitzing this guy. But this just needs so many pushes. Like it's cool that it stops you having to dodge. It's very cool that it stops you having to dodge, but it takes so many pushes. Like it's different when you've got a roger with juggernaut, right? When you've got a roger with juggernaut, this blitz looks very easy. I guess the good thing is you get the handoff in a three in the rain, which is nice, isn't it? And if you get the pushes, which he's got the first one, and he's got the second one. And he's got the third, and it's 3D, okay, yeah, okay, it's a bit better when it's a 3D as well, isn't it? Should've just backlined, mate. Should've just backlined. <laughs> okay, maybe this way, but it looks good when he gets the pushes, doesn't it? But they are 55 percenters. So... There you go, gets one turned on. Nice. <laughs> I'm not 100%, honestly, I'm not 100% on that being the best way. Like, it's really good not having to do the dodges. But he does have to get the pushes. But I guess it's good that he gets the 3Ds afterwards, isn't it? Probably about, yeah, it probably was about the same, yeah. Oh my god, he trips gold! Oh baby, he trips gold, and now this has become Serafino's drive. <laughs> Flip me. Wow. And a removal? Holy moly. Straight in for the pickup. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, yeah, see, he, wouldn't, he didn't give him two turns, it was one turn. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Maybe it was a little bit lax from Olivier, but I mean, it was a three dice block, wasn't it? So, it was a one in 27 chance. It was unlucky, but it was a 1 in 27 chance that loses you the game, almost. So, you know, if you're making 1 in 37 chances that lose you the game, you're going to fail some of them sometimes, right? And he, you know, both sides, well, not both sides, Serafino made a bunch of 1 in 36s on his own drive. He can frenzy this, can't he? Well, he's not frenzied it. Why oh, got pro on this guy? Why didn't he frenzy it? That was that was wrong, wasn't it? I'm I'm gonna say this was wrong by Olivier. Ah, oh, the frenzy. Okay, the frenzy's a long way away. Okay, in his defense, the frenzy is a long way away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a long way away. But. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Jeff. That's why, that's why you re-roll the pickup. Um, one, two. So the frenzy is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's a three plus with dodge, and it's a two rushes to do the hits. But you get to push the uh, you get to push the dancer out to here, and then hit him with uh, wrestle right to get the ball back, which is pretty good. 
So I think I think that was probably the play. But instead he just goes for like the much easier push him onto the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double screen it out before. Like it's it's so the the balls on the ground in a in the rain. It's like you know Wood Elves should feel the terror that everybody else feels when they play versus Wood Elves, right? And they should just you know, look after the ball more. Yeah. That's the pow. And the jump up tree. <laughs> Oh, see, Serafino's making critical one in thirty-six. He just loves it. He doesn't. He doesn't care. He just makes the critical one in thirty-sixes. A typical elf player, no chance they can fail. Um, but they can fail, and you can play safer. You can play safer there. And he didn't. Gets the full power as well, away from the tree, very nice. And gets the ball on the deck. And gets the ball in hand. And hand does a rush. And it's Olivier's drive again. <laughs> But it's a four plus leap in. Where's the stripper? Stunned. <laughs> okay, well. This is bad for Serafino. Man, two dice loner, but it, it did unlock things, didn't it? Yeah, no one out in front of ODL yet, so... It's, it's not over. Olivia's just gonna try and get back, I think, isn't he? Come back. Turn 12. Back into his own half. Full pal. Gets the removal. Apple. No apple's already been used. Ripperino. Okay, he's not coming back. I expected Olivia to come back there. Interesting. Very interesting. Bloody one dicing here. Jeez, that was a three plus. Three plus from Olivier. That's a bit weird. I expected him. He's gonna foul. I expected him to like go back. That turn. I mean a H cage is pretty good, obviously. Really good versus the stripper. But <laughs> wait a second. ODL check. Both sides for both sides pass. Serafino's down eight players. Oh my god, four plus dodge. Two plus gets his stripper out there. Doesn't get that guy out. <sighs> Flip me. What a game. This would have been a cool one to watch live, wouldn't it? Bloody elves. Elves rolling dice. Not a critical 2 plus that one. I think, uh, yeah, I think you probably, no, no, you probably, no, that was probably critical. <laughs> probably couldn't have got away with that one, actually. Oh my god, you could have just blocked him. <laughs> Four 
flip me. Okay, H cage. Full 1D, pal. I mean, do you go for the 6 plus cage dive? <laughs> you haven't got many players left. I guess you can hope for a 5 plus cage dive next turn. Like, as stupid as it sounds, yeah, maybe he did have to. Yeah, save the reels for the one turn. The one turn's really hard, though, isn't it? Versus sidesteppers and a tree. I guess he's got grab, hasn't he? Hmm, still hard, though. Then, then somebody's won, right? If somebody's, uh, it's if somebody like wins one and draws one, they win in two. It's it's best of two plus one. <laughs> if you win and draw, you win. Obviously, if you win both, you win. But if you win and draw, you win. If the but but bu oh my god, what was that animation? He just exploded. He just exploded to the other side. <laughs> what the what the. What the hell? Oh my god. Okay, I was completely not paying any attention there. Let's go back. Let's go back so I can pay attention. ODL made this cage with a extremely weak on the fr on this side to stop him coming around the other side and pushing him back out, right? But still, he really needed the extra player, didn't he? I don't know if like, he went for a surf that made okay, now it's worked properly. I wonder if he went for a surf or something. He, not having the H cage seems a big mistake, doesn't it? Not having a H or a... Or a... Uh, Vengabus. And he fails the catch. And it goes into the crowd. And Serafino's away. And a 3-3. Three, three. He's away. Flip me. Flip me, guys, as his team all dies. Unbelievable, Joe. <laughs> wow. Oh. That Kaz is uh, bad because he's probably going to have to score next turn, isn't he? Gets to punch his tree. Get rid of the grab. <laughs> you gotta punch his tree. Try and get. Try and remove the grab. <laughs> yeah, Serafina has to score here. It would have been, yeah, if only, if only Olivia didn't care about real life and working. <laughs> dog to the dog because Olivier gets another chance to one turn here. Yep, 
this time he backlines because he's got no players. <laughs> this time he's got no players. So has to backline. You can't have your guys next to each other. Probably better one one gap rather than two gap, honestly. Probably better to have a one gap than a two gap. There's only one reroll. High kick helps. Double chance to catch. Fails. He can do it with three dice, can't he? Yeah, okay, it's pretty nice doing it with three dice. All the way. That's, uh, that's wrong, isn't it? Isn't that wrong? Because if he pushes... I don't know how fast people are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wouldn't it be better to sidestep to here? First of all, for the potential pass or catch a hand up or whatever. Also, like if he pals, he could if he only gets a push, he could put no he needs the third one, doesn't he? Oh my god, yeah, he need, he needs to push him. Okay. Disregard. Errata, errata, he needs the third push anyway. I was thinking, but it's still better to be out here anyway. It's still definitely better to be out here, isn't it? Oh, maybe not, because then he pushes him to there. That might give a better angle for not getting intercepted. No, because it'd be the same here. It's got to be better to go the other way. He's gone the wrong way. He's definitely gone the wrong way. Oh, my goodness. He gets the hand off. Gets the four plus catch. Makes all the dodges and the rushes. Disgusting. Disgusting. And now, <laughs> Serafino with nine players probably has enough. So now because he's got sidestep, he's better off going to the wide ones. With a tree, he gets to push him back, follow... Fill in. He's probably got enough players, hasn't he? <laughs> He's trying to work it out. He's got three. He's got to get him three. No, he's, he's got sprints. He's only got him two. Okay, so. Oh my god, it's a blitz. So back one, follow. Then. No, I can't really get him in. Then like three, one, two, three players in front and side. That gets him one, and then he needs two more. He doesn't have enough, does he not have enough players? Yeah, that was just a complete misplay from Olivia. I mean, stress, maybe time bank. Maybe time bank stress. Pushes him to there. Then he needs one, two, three, four. Oh, one could be from the ball. No, it couldn't. One, two, three, four, five. No. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. No. Oh, yeah, you could refill one of them. Okay, so it depends where, where, if the ball bounces. Yeah, that was that was just a misplay. Maybe just panicking time. Okay. So this dancer could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, rush, rush, hand off. Right? <laughs> and then you block this, follow. These two fill in these two. This one fills in this one. You block him, forward one. And then you still only got one guy left. He 
can't do it, can you? They want on the back line. They're 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 they're, they're not. They're in wrong circle. They're wrong, right? They, these are just wrong. <laughs> but I don't. I don't think he had enough players to do it anyway. I think you need one more player. Did Serafino? So there you go. Incredible 2-2 two, two draw. Two one turns from Olivier, wasn't it? <laughs> two one turns from Olivier. He was, uh, you know, certainly the, the frenzy and the sidestep look really good for him this game. Um, they have completely been... I mean, like, I like the frenzy and the sidestep part of his team builds. The jump up I don't like, but the sidestep and the frenzy were sure vindicated in this game. Um... Incredible, incredible one turns there from Olivier, and yeah, that draw means that it will go to a tiebreaker match with neither side having won a well, neither coach having won a game, neither side having won a game. And uh, it should be another wild one because you know, anyone can win here, loads of critical one in 36 rolls, and anything could happen, anybody could win. Game three tomorrow at 1700, amazing. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.